so so the the community piece just to answer your question about like what is that and how is it relevant uh, some you know people struggle with that and i often get questions about well what is community and why does that matter um, community captures kind of everything outside of you and your work and your family so that includes your network of friends um, and neighbors uh, people in you know the place where you live uh, but it could also include people that you are engaged with in some kind of political group or, or religious group. Mm -hmm. um, so that usually has some meaning for most people. Uh, it may not be the most important thing. Mm -hmm. For some people, it is. And the self, of course, is who are you as an individual, you know, in your own private sphere, the things that matter to your, your physical health, your mental health and, and emotional uh, mm -hmm. growth and your spiritual life, which it is important to some people and not to others. Mm -hmm. but, but these aspects of, it, of our existence are, you know, for most people, pretty important. Uh, so these four buckets, if you will, uh, seem to capture most of our experience and it's also simple uh you know there's not 12 categories there's just four mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and last point about this i ask people to define these domains of their lives in ways that make sense to them so there's no there's mm -hmm. no rigid definition that i impose but rather it's a it's a device to help you to think about the uh the differentiated parts of your life and that helps you make sense of how to bring them together. In order to make sense of the whole, you've got to see what the parts are. And so sure. people make their own you know, decisions, choices about, well, what does home mean to me? How do I define family? And the way you define it might be different than the way I define it, and, and et cetera. So it's useful in that way that everything about this approach is, is subjectively defined by the learner, the user.